everybody. I am here with Ninja and Guard Dog, and they are going to tell us a little bit about this event, what they do for this event, and what they ride. Hi, Ninja. Hi. How you doing? I'm good. Working for a beautiful day. That's right. Hi, Guard Dog. Hi, what's up? How are you? Good, good. So tell us a little bit about what you all have been doing and what you're doing for this wonderful event. Well, we were with a similar organization several years ago um, that uh, helped children that were abused. Uh, we have some, you know, history with uh, or a direct history with uh, abused people that we know. You know, I was one of those kids. Yeah. Well, I was. So was I. Yeah, you know? I was one of those kids. And it's amazing how many people come and share their stories. But it's a whole other topic. Anyway, back to your question. Um, and it was a great organization. They they do a lot of great work, uh, but their scope was rather narrow. Um, abuse is a major problem with, with, for children. Uh, right now we're looking at four to seven kids a day dying from abuse mm -hmm. and most of them are under the age of four. Wow. Uh, so, so we decided to branch off yeah. on our own and started Bikers Care. Uh, our mission is to end child abuse and to come to those who have been victimized by abuse. Uh, and we don't, it's not set to any particular kind. Uh, there's neglect, there's physical, uh, there's emotional and of course there's sexual abuse. So it doesn't matter to us how these children got hurt. They just need somebody. Yes, um, We've been uh, almost four years together yes. doing mm -hmm. this. Four years. Um, we hold the pinwheel run normally in April, but because of all the stuff that's going on, you know, we had to postpone it. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, April's National Child Abuse Prevention Month, and the uh, uh, national symbol for child abuse awareness is the pinwheel. Oh, hence that's so why that's how we, we got our ride. ride. That's why we got the name of our ride. And, and yeah, it's a it's a fundraiser. Yeah, uh, it's hopefully a way to attract members to 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 come out and help us, and that's okay. But the main thing we want people to leave with today is a renewed commitment in saying something. And helping. I understand. <laughs> it's hard. It's gut wrenching. We do. We get a little emotional. Oh God. <laughs> It is so hard, and it is gut wrenching for these if children. These kids can come to somebody, an adult, and Get somebody help. believes what they're saying, because that's what was wrong with mine when I was a kid. They didn't. Believe Nobody you. believed what was going on. So if somebody believes them and truly can help them and help them move on, I changed, and I didn't follow the path that a lot of did. So if I can change one child. It's huge. It's huge. It's monumental. Huge. Well, it's the thing. We talked about how many people will share their stories with us. And statistically, two out of three children will be victims of abuse. That's yes. way too many kids. It is. And, and, what are we and doing wrong? We're, we're not getting involved. We're putting it off and saying anything. it's not our problem. You know, we'll let somebody you know, else say something. Look the other and way. like I was saying, that's mm -hmm. what we want the message to be today. It takes a village to raise a child. That's right. Most kids are being abused by people they know and love. Right. Ninety percent of the time, it's a parent or the it knowledge is. of a parent step or a step parent mm -hmm. or a live-in boyfriend or, or whatever the case right. might be. So the place where they're supposed to be the safest mm -hmm. is where they're getting no hurt. Longer. So where are they going to go? So one of the things that we're going to have is uh, information on how to recognize the signs of abuse and what to do if you see them, and that's what we want people to do. Say and how something. How to believe a child when they exactly. tell you. Right. A child's right. not going to make children, things up. They're not going to make specific things up. Because right. right. a child just doesn't know. 90% of the kids that come know. forward are telling the truth, right. but only one in three adults will believe them. And that's wow. got to change. That's and then once you're told, you got to pick up that phone. you got to make that call. Right. And follow Florida, through. Follow right. through. In yeah. Florida, every adult is a mandatory reporter under law. If you suspect that a child's in danger, you're required to make a phone call and report by that law, by law. You know, and, and I know people are saying, well, again, it's not my problem. I don't want to get involved. I'm not sure. You don't have to be. If, you, if your gut's telling you something's wrong, something's wrong. And it is your problem because these children need a voice to speak up for them. It's all of our problems as adults, as parents, as people and, and uh, wonderful people of society. It's our responsibility to help these children. We have to be yes. their voice. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's up to all of us. We're not going to change the tide unless all of us just say that's enough. Um, one of the quotes that I like to use, I probably won't get it exactly right, but Albert Einstein once said that we live in a dangerous world. And it's not because of the evil in it, but the lack of good people doing something about it. 
Amen. So be that good person. Do something about it. If you suspect something's going on, do something about it. Don't just sit idly by. Don't wait to see if you get more evidence. Don't wait and, and investigate it yourself or for somebody else to make the call. That child could die in the meantime. Exactly. Right? Make the call. Be involved and, and know what's going on around, around your neighborhood. Thank you so much for what you guys both do. You are phenomenal members of society, and I cannot thank you enough from the bottom of my heart. I honestly thank you for what you did for me. I know what I went through as a kid, so thank you. And thank you for the children that are growing up and needing this. Helping us make it more aware. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. And let's have a great ride. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, and go have some fun with some kids. That's right. Shiny side up, rubber side down. All right, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How's everybody doing today? Great. We are here for a fantastic ride to save the children because it is all about our future, the children. We are here to save them from abuse in any way, shape, or form that they may be getting it. If they don't feel safe, there's a problem. And we're here to help that. And we're here with Bikers Care, which is a fab fabulous foundation that is helping. Also, Smoke Divers is here. They're helping out. And the Citrus County Police is also helping out. We've got Born to Ride Media, ourselves, and the John and Heather Show. And we'd love to get some of you all and feel what you guys feel for this ride and what it means to you. And I'd like to ask you, I don't want to put anybody on the spot, but I'm going to come to you and ask you. How does it feel to you, sir? I have eight children, and I'll tell you, they mean the world to me. And yeah, I'll do anything I can to help kids. You have eight children? Yes, I do. Wow. God bless you. Well, thank you. And how about you? Being a 27-year veteran firefighter, dealing with kids all my life, doing the Christmas program with kids, taking them to the Walmart for buying Christmas gifts for their family, it, kids mean a whole bunch to us and everybody. We're I remember. Glad to be here. I remember when my child used to do shop with a cop, and I loved it. We did shop with a fireman. There you go. That's God bless. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Kids nowadays, they're never going to grow up to experience what we did when we were growing up, and that's a shame. Exactly. Skateboarding, 50s, 60s, well, 90s. Being able to go out on the street, go to the park, go to wherever. Exactly. Without feel worrying safe. about exactly. But yeah, it's all about my five grandsons. God bless you, sir. Thank you for coming out and supporting. I'm great. Thank you. I'm a guardian ad litem, so oh, I see you. firsthand the abuse in the homes and the kids, what you they go through. Do. And anybody who wants to become a guardian ad litem, they need them like crazy. They are fantastic. Um, they help our children. The judge really listens to you. Uh, it, it's all about the child. It's all about the child. And anything I could do to help the child in any way, I'm going to do it. And a guardian ad litem does help in many different ways. They come to court with the child, they help the child, and they help get everything that that child needs, such as their benefits, things that they don't know about because they don't have family. That's what a guardian ad litem does, and they fight for them. They are much needed. Very much. So anybody who wants to become will get with you? Absolutely. Great, how are you doing today? I'm good, I see you waving your hand. You want to do guardian and litem, do you? I do, I do. I am a special educator. So, so am I, I'm a retired special education teacher. God bless you, and I have a child with Down syndrome. So it is near and dear to my heart. As it is for me, I, I find that children with special needs are particularly at risk to abuse, yes, physical are. and sexual abuse, because they can be manipulated. Very easily. And so this is a fantastic cause, and it brings light to the fact that there are children in need of protection. Exactly. I, She's hit it on the nail. I also represent the Umatilla chapter of Faith Riders. And we are always looking for excellent causes. So I understand, and I also work for a very poor school district. I typically have always worked for poor school districts, and those children are at a higher risk. Me too. Um, I did inner city. Yes, Title so you One. Know, you know how it is. I do. I do. God bless you. Thank I love you. you. God Thank bless you. you. You take care of yourself. You have a great ride. Shiny side up, rubber side down. 
All righty. Thank you. Thank you. How are you doing today? Not too bad. So, you're here for the ride today also? Yes, with Smoke Divers Club. You're a smoke diver? Yes, ma'am. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the smoke divers and the 911 ride. Yes, it was fantastic. I enjoyed it. And what are you doing today? I help my club out, I help the kids. If the kids can't fight for themselves, someone need, the kids need somebody to fight for them. That's right. I was abused as a kid, domestic violence, and when I hear a child get hurt, I turn into a different kind of person. I just want to, you know, you know, I know exactly I can't, what you I'm represent a club, and I can't say any kind of words. I get in trouble. Yeah, your, your face is turning red. I can see it in your face. It hurts. And I understand. I definitely do. Both ways. Uh, it's happened to me, and I'm not happy what happened to me, but if I can keep the kid from getting, going through what I'm going through, I'm going to do what i got to do. God bless you, sir. If I have to cross the river to save a child's life, I'm going to do it. God bless you. You have a great day. Thank you. <laughs> Hi there, I'm here with Laura Anstead, Sarge Laura Anstead yep. from Citrus County's Finest. She's done many rides with us. She did the 911 ride. She's always escorting our rides and does a fantastic job. And we want to find out how this ride feels for her, being in this field, how it feels seeing abused children so much in your life. Well, there's a lot of um, different components to that. Anytime we have these rides, these community events at the sheriff's office, we always want to support them. We always want to make sure our community members are safe. Um, these rides that get sponsored, all of them, our Toys for Tots run, our 9-11 um, wall escort pinwheel. This is the third year we've done the pinwheel. Third year I've, you know, is our third annual. Um, and it's really important. And this is probably one of the, the, this is one of the ones that stands out a lot because Child abuse affects everybody yes, it does. In, in one way, shape, form or another, it, it affects everybody. And in our profession, it's very difficult on us because a lot of us are parents. A lot of us, um, we've had our experiences in life and our backgrounds are all very different and unique. Um, but to have a motorcycle ride that actually goes out and brings awareness to this to stop child abuse and stop trafficking and really bring light to such a horrible situation. It's very, very important to us. It's important to me. I know it's important to all my deputies. Important um, to us as parents absolutely. and as parents of a special because needs child. I'm, I'm a parent and you know, we all get that feeling and we all say, you know. That, that she bear feeling. Yeah, absolutely, Mama absolutely, bear. yes. So it's, it's definitely one of our bigger stressors when we see in law enforcement, we see families that are dealing with child abuse um, Sad. It's always something that we want to make sure we get that awareness out and we bring light to the situation to get it stopped. Because there is no, there's no end of the line until it stops. It's exactly. not to make it better, it's to stop it. It's, it's to end it. The behavior has to end. Yes. So anything we can do, always happy and proud to be involved with it. Well, we are so thankful to have you, Sarge. You are a true blessing to this community. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much for everything that you do. I'm You so are an amazing serve. motorcycle rider, an amazing <laughs> Sarge. A great <laughs> asset to our community. Thank you, sweetheart. And thank you. Thank you. And please don't give me any tickets. I, I, no promises. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note. God. Thank you very much. This is going to be a beautiful ride. Um, how many were with us for the 9-11 escort, the wall escort? Woo! Woo! Nice and smooth, right? Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, nice, smooth ride. The reason it was so nice and smooth is because everybody listened and stayed together. We're gonna do that again today, right? Yeah. Everybody do this? Yes, ma'am. Yep. yep, everybody, I got everybody. All right, you didn't do it yet. Yeah. Okay, good. What I mean by stay together, guys, double ride, all right? I know there's the occasional person that really doesn't like to ride side by side. That's fine as long as you stay nice and close. When you allow gaps, you allow cars in. Cars will take any opportunity they can to get in the middle of our ride because as we all know, <laughs> she can't say it. Florida. Anyhow, Florida. absolutely. A lot of people don't ride and if they don't ride, they don't understand. They don't understand what we're out here doing. So be very, very, very aware. The closer together you stay, the less opportunity for anything to happen there will be. All right, sound good? Yes. All of our intersections are covered. Again, a majority of the people out here helping us today are volunteers. They're, they're here just out of the goodness of their heart. So when you get to Harley and you see them, please shake their hand because they really do appreciate it. All right. Woo!
they appreciate the appreciation. Um, as always, we're going to stay in that left lane, right? We're going to stay in the left lane. We have Mr. Schaefer out here escorting us with our motorcycles this morning. So you guys are actually going to follow him. We're going into Harley a little differently this time than we normally do. If you're not aware of the route that we're taking, we're leaving here. We're going south on 41. We're going to turn right on Stagecoach. We'll make the left on Pleasant Grove and then an immediate right back onto Stagecoach again. You guys with me so far? Yep. All the way across to 491. That's a nice ride. We're going to go north on 491. I made this just for you. Thank this you. This is a new route. North on 491 to Grover Cleveland. We're going to go across Grover Cleveland. We are going to have a little area where they're doing that construction for the, for the, uh, Sun Coast. the Sun Coast. Thank you. All right. So be aware, keep, stay a little more alert when you get there. Um, all the way across Grover to 19. Then we're going to go north on 19 and into Harley from there. Remember when we pop out on 19, there is construction. It will go down to a single lane. Okay. So just, there's no way of avoiding it. All right. I have tried every route that you possibly could to keep you guys out of the construction zone. Wasn't happening. So just be aware that that construction zone's there. We're going to get you through it. It will go down to a single lane after we turn right. Um, when we go into Harley, normally we're coming south and we turn in this time we're coming north. So it's going to be a right turn into Harley. When you go into Harley, go around the building to the right and park at the back, okay? Try not to bottleneck up. Be prepared that when you go in, you're going in and going to the right, all right? Because the more you bottleneck up at that entrance, the more traffic backs up on 19, and that gets a little bit stressful for people, even though they drive in traffic all the time, especially right there in the construction zone, all right? So be very, very, very aware. We've had wonderful rides. Today's going to be no exception. The weather's actually quite beautiful this morning. So I anticipate a, a very good event for you guys. Heath, you got anything? Uh, other than uh, just to make sure you use your signals if you're going across a pothole or something, raccoon, whatever, you know, so everybody knows ahead of time, I'll pass it back, point it out, whatever. So it's, that's about it. And I'm standing in the follow vehicle. So if anybody breaks down, Get off the road, they'll stop, they'll pick you up, and we'll see you at Harley in the long run. All right? Um, does anybody have any questions? We are not most likely going to go above 45. Somebody asked me about speed earlier. We will, it's very rare that we come anywhere close to topping 45. All right? So we'll probably be lingering somewhere in between 35 and 40 ish. Um, I think that's it. Somebody want to lead us? Yeah. The lead bike will be swell. Hold your position until the, 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 the robot uh, DL left has left. Yep, we're going to file out. Otherwise, you're going to have a bottleneck right at the uh, exit here. Where's my military people? <laughs> it's going to be a column of files to the left. Thanks. Right? Hey, just one more thing. Just because we have the intersections, that doesn't mean that you shut out everything that's going on. Pay attention. We just had yep. an incident not too long ago. Um, Car went right inside the procession, messed it all up. Accidents do occur, so keep your eyes yep, open. Yep, keep them, keep them peeled, okay? Yeah. And we can do our best, but sometimes humans are humans. Yeah, I like them old people. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I can say that. Are you turning <laughs> on the old? I know. <laughs> all right, guys. Does somebody want to lead us in prayer, and we'll get these kickstands up and going? Somebody. Anybody? Sounds good. Go, Thank go, sister, go. Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask right now, Lord, that you place angels all around us, in front of us, to the sides and behind us, God. Make people and cars aware that we're there. We ask that you would uh, bless each and every rider, bless our families, and Father, bless the children that we are here standing in the gap for, God. We give you all the praise. We say God bless America. God bless every rider and our families. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Thank you. Nice. Hi, guys. You have eight minutes. When you see the lights go on in my SUV, tag your it. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Thank you.
there, John. Hello. I'm I'm Heather, and I'm with John and Heather's show in Born to Ride magazine. And I understand you're with the American Legion chapter, 237 in Beverly Hills. Correct. And you also have some personal experience with this ride today and child abuse. Well, I've, I definitely have uh, personal experience with child abuse. Uh, I'm a former law enforcement officer in the state of Maryland. Uh, during my career, we had a horrendous child abuse trial, which I was in charge of running. Uh, where there, there were two children involved where the, the mother and the father sold their children for sex for drugs. Uh, uh, in addition to the mo mother and father, the grandparents and the aunts and uncles were also involved in this entire catastrophe of life for these two ch children that were just getting ready to start life. So my job was to uh, protect them during the trial uh, and uh, they were extremely scared, so I stood by their side for, uh, for about 12 days. And um, at, during the course of the trial, uh, one of the children, the five-year-old, asked me how many bullets it would take to kill his mother and father. So, uh, extremely personal, and, and it just goes to show you, and what you guys are doing today here is, is awesome, uh, it just goes to show you how it affects these children even at a young age. So uh, it, was, it was an honor to, uh, to protect those children for all those days. And the end result, they were, uh, the entire family was convicted. And, and they'll be in prison for the rest of their lives. So uh, it, this is a touching thing for me to be here, but also to let you guys know from a rider's chapter perspective in Beverly Hills, uh, we're out in the community. We try to help everybody we can. This is personal to our hearts because a lot of us have children and personal to me because of my experience as a law enforcement officer. So uh, we're... Honored to be here today. When we get to Harley later on, our Riders Chapter will be presenting a check to this organization today. Wonderful. And, and, uh, and so, uh, we're, you know, thank you guys for allowing me to speak to you guys. Yeah, I appreciate thank you uh, so much, and thank you for your work, and thank you for your service. No Hello, good morning. How are you? Good. We ran into you at registration, yeah. and you were registering for the Biker Pinwheel Ride. Yes. It's a pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. That's Nelda. Hi, Nelda. Hi, how are you? It's a good class. It is. Yes. It definitely is a great class. Yes, it is. Got to get back to the community. Got to get back to our kids. Got to get, gotta get back. You know, like I told her, I say it's good to have fun at the same time, but do it good for a good cause. And my name is Juan. Exactly. And that is so true, Juan. I agree with you both, Juan and Nelda. This is all about the children and the children that have been abused that don't have a voice to speak up for. And they need the help. So it's great that you're here. Yeah, we're from uh, Spring Hill. So we, we rode up this morning and it's like had, had a good ride coming in. We're going to have a good ride going in Crystal. So it's all right. Go to the Daytona Beach. Well, that's great. Okay, well, I hope to see you out at the Cackleberry also. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. That's where we're going. That's great. Well, we'll see you there. She was a Carolina blue jean baby boy. The father drove me crazy. It was red tail lines when she left town. If I didn't know, then I sure know now.
have got a beautiful couple here with their friend, their dog, Patty. No, what's Chipmunk. Chipmunk. That's her name. Her name is Chipmunk, but she's going to show us what she can do. Ready? Say, Patty Cake, Patty Cake, bake your mint. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. You roll it around and roll it around and throw it in the pan. Yay! Good girl! <laughs> that is too cute. Uh, I met you, and this is your service dog. Yes, yeah, she is. She's been my service dog for over six and a half years. Chipmunk. Chipmunk. And why do you have a service dog? I have brain cancer. I am on my third brain tumor. Okay. I became terminally ill two years ago. It's a niche for my brain stem. Wow. So. God bless you. I do everything I can to enjoy life. That's the way to hear. <laughs> I hope everybody hears this beautiful woman here. She's living life to the fullest. You got to. You cannot give up. And once you lay down in that bed and you don't get out, you're going to die. Exactly. You Amen. Get up every day, whether it's one time to walk through the house, walk outside once a day, you got to get up. That's right. When you lay down, you quit, you give up, and you die. You heard it first from one beautiful woman to everybody out there. Listen to her words. It is true. I love it, and I can't wait to see you guys out on the ride. It's been a pleasure meeting you. Nice to meet you. God bless you Don't guys. Bless. Don't bye-bye. Thank you. Don't bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Go. Bye-bye. <laughs> Look what I found here. We are here, and I found Batman. The one, the only Batman is here for all of the kids. How you doing, Batman? I'm doing all right. How are you, dear? I'm good. I saw all these kids running up to you. Yeah. Does this make your day or what? Yep, and that's what I do it for. Absolutely. You do it for the kids? Absolutely. That's it. They run up. They hug you. Any funny stories today? Not yet. It's still early, though. No drool on you? Nah, not no yet. diapers to change? <laughs> no. no, not yet. But lots of fun, right? We're hoping so, yep. It's a true blessing to have you here, Batman. Thank you. Thank you so much. Look into the camera. We love you. The children love you. And we are so happy to have you. Thank, Thank you, you. And give us a big shout out to Born to Ride Magazine. Born to Ride Magazine, the best bike magazine out there that I know. That's right. Thank <laughs> you so much. You heard hey, it. I am here. We're at Crystal River Harley Davidson with Bikers Care. And they're here and they're giving us a wonderful award. I'm accepting it on behalf of Ron Galetti and Born to Ride Magazines. And he's going to tell us what this award is for. Well, we just want to make sure that we expressed our sincere appreciation for all the effort and all the support that Ron and Deb and Born to Ride have done to help us in this event. You know, without their support, without their help, we couldn't have made this happen. We want to thank them very much. Thank you so much. I know that Ron and Deb and all of the Born to Ride staff, we all love our children. We love children, and it's near and dear and close to their heart. So I accept this with good benevolence for them, and they are very happy. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And God bless you all. Thank you. Here, we've just finished this fantastic ride. We have had so much fun and met so many new people for what a wonderful cause. And we are here with Amy at Crystal Harley Davidson, and they have done so much for this ride. Harley Davidson has gone above and beyond and really put it all out there for this community to have a wonderful ride and help these children. And Amy's going to tell you a little bit about what she's done. Well, just to first talk, this is Bikers Care, and what their mission is, is to get awareness for child abuse. And that is obviously something near and dear to everyone that works here. So we wanted to go out of our way to do nice things to help them make this ride successful. We had the Sheriff's Department get with them, and they got them all here safe and sound. And today we've got a band. We've got the um, some kid activities outside for them to participate in and face painting. We... Oh, we do, we do. We had Batman here, who is super awesome, and a Batmobile. Loman has had Batman come for us. And then we've had this wonderful garden that we set up with these pinwheels, and we've had just a really great time today getting everybody aware of what's going on in the community. And this is to help raise awareness 
of how we need to help all of our children in this community. We all need to band together because like we've heard all day long, it takes a village to raise a child. And that's what Harley Davidson is doing. They've become the village and now they're helping to raise all of our children. And we are so thankful. Thank you, Harley Davidson. Thank you, we appreciate y'all being here. Thank you, shiny side up. Rubber side down. Rubber side down. <laughs> you have a great day, Amy. You too, thank y'all both for being here. Thank you.